Welcome to the Code with Reza channel. My name is Reza and I'm here to teach you Python. Today I want to show you how to write a GraphQL query endpoint using Graphene and Flask. We first need to install two, three libraries. pip install, Flask, Flask GraphQL, and graphing flask flask ql and graphing i have already installed this so nothing happens at my end but this will install it in your machine okay now close this one let's go to the code first import flask then import from flask graphql this is our view i will show you what this exactly is this is the view that we are working in that to send query and this is the import for graphing we first need to create a class which handles our query in graphql we, it's not like REST. In REST, we send GET query or we send POST or PUT. But in GraphQL, the terms are different. For example, when we want to read a value, we send a query. But if you want to update something, we send mutation. So mutation is like POST and PUT. And query is, for, for example, when we do a GET. Here we want to show that query, that get thing. So I will create a, cla create a class called query and I extend from graphing object type. When I put a name in here inside the parentheses, means I'm extending this thing. I create a property here, hello. What is the type? The type is a string and I can add some description to that. I can say a typical hello world. We don't need this. This is for us to read it. But what it says is our query class, which is responsible for handling the queries, has only one property. So we can only query hello because it has hello only. We can only query hello is of type a string so when we query hello what happens we need a function or method to process it for us to resolve it for us we create this method resolve hello and we need an info here too here we don't do anything we just easily return hello world this hello should be exactly the same as this hello. And this is always resolve. So we the method name is like this, always starts with resolve, underline, and this part should be exactly the same as the property of the class, the thing that we are querying for. And that's it. This is our query handler. The next thing is creating a schema. In uh, GraphQL, we always need to have a schema. So our schema is, we use graphing, the schema, and we say, okay, our query handler, when a query comes to this schema, who is the handler is our query class. So in this schema, we are saying that if query comes, our query class, which is this class, is responsible for that. It should pass it to this query class and let this query class handle it. Our app is a normal Flask app. And we pass the module name to that. And here we are saying app.addURL rule. We are uh, adding a rule, a URL rule to our Flask app. And we say when the graph Q 
ql request comes a request comes with the graphql like this what it should do the view function is graphql view which we imported here this graphql view is what we imported here dot as view graphql and what is the schema the schema is our schema this is this is schema here this is schema sits here and the third one is graph iql is true okay so what we are doing is we are creating our Fl flask app here we say okay this is a url rule means if this url on this url if the user enters this url show us this view what is this view this is our view this view has a couple of parameters the important thing is the schema which is our schema and here it, it says that GraphQL uh, view should be shown. I will show you what is that view. It's the editor that we enter our request, our queries, our mutation, things in here because we don't use Postman or things like that. For GraphQL, we need a proper client and this is our client. So when, when we open this GraphQL, it shows this environment and when we enter a query what happens it first looks for a schema it says okay what is my schema this is my schema it comes to the schema and says okay i have a query what is my query handler it says okay this is this class is handling the query and it comes here and says okay i have a hello as a query what should i do this function will return this value so let's have a look if name is main then run the app run the server where listen on this host what is the host any interface sorry it should be dot and here port is 5001 so it listens on all the network interfaces and listens on this port 5001 okay now is the time to run the application python3 main.py okay so we need to open this is this is where this application is a uh, server is listening this one and this one so we need to open our browser i use safari for example here and i will go to this url i will say http 0 0 this is the uh, host that we are listening on and this is the port that we are listening on and this graph ql is this graph ql this is the rule that we added this GraphQL. This is the editor. This is the environment. So I need to create a query. This is how we create a query. I will say hello. And I will run it. Look at here. Hello world. So let's see what happens. We are sending a query. We say from the query, we need this property. We need this hello. So it says, okay, what is the, our schema? This is our schema. What is the query handler? This is the query handler. What would do we have here? Hello. And we are here also sending hello. So hello, who is handling this? Resolve hello handles that. What does it do? Returns hello world. Look at here. We have hello property and the value is hello world that's all if you're finding this video helpful and interesting 
it's a good time to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my latest content. I'm going to show you lots of amazing stuff here in this channel. Thank you for watching and see you later.